Okay, first some basics. In these lessons, I'm going to be talking about numbers of fingers. So just so that we're on the same page, the thumbs are finger number one, and then we have finger number two, three, four, and five. So for example, if I say finger number one on your right hand, I mean your right hand thumb. Uh, finger number two on your right hand is here, and so on, three, four, and five. I want you to start by looking at fingers number three and four on your right hand, and we're going to find the E. Uh, we want it to be in the third octave down, and what you're going to look for are two black notes here, two black notes next to each other, and right to the right of this black note, the white note there, is called an E. That's the note we want. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to take finger four and place it on the E, and finger three on the D sharp, which is this black note right to the left of the E. And I just want you to bounce back and forth using finger four on the E and finger three on the D sharp. So just go like that a little bit. Okay, now we're going to look for a little bit more precision. So I want you to, once again, put finger four on the E and finger three on the D sharp, but now I just want you to count out five, starting on the E. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. And again, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so one thing to keep in mind is as we go through this lesson, I want you to make sure that you always keep things at a fixed tempo. So better slow and steady. than fast and messy. Like, no, that's no good. I want you to keep it slow and steady. Okay, now, so we have one, two, three, four, five. And the next note you're going to play with the thumb, or finger number one, is a B here. Notice that the B is right to the right of the three black notes. This is a B. So it's going to be E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B. And using the finger numbers, four, three, four, three, four, one. Okay, great. Let's now finish up this part. So we have four, three, four, three, four, one on the B. And then we're going to take finger number three on the D, finger number two on the C, to finger number one on the A. D, C, A. Okay, now together. Four, three, four, three, four, one, three, two, one. And one more time. Okay, now I want you to take your left hand and I want you to find the A with your pinky. Now the A, to find it, you're gonna look for three black notes and the A is between the two rightmost black notes over here. Okay, now once you've found that with your pinky, with your thumb, I want you to find the A to the right of that, one octave up. Okay, now what you're actually going to play is with your pinky, you're gonna hit this A, and then with finger number two on your left hand, you're going to hit the E. Notice the E again, same place, there's two black notes, it's right to the right. So we have A, E, and then with your thumb, finger number one, A up top. Okay, and one more time. Okay, now what I want you to do is keep your pinky on this A, but don't play it, 
and I want you to be ready to hit that A at the same time you hit the A on the right hand. That's the last note we learned before. So take your right hand and begin what you played before. And as soon as you're done with that last note, you're going to hit both A's simultaneously. Okay, one more time. Okay, now this time I want you to finish up the left hand that we just learned. One more time. Okay, now the next part in the right hand is as soon as we finish this, we're going to take the right thumb or finger number one and play the C, which is just one note apart from that last A we hit in the left hand. Okay, now let's just focus on the right hand. From that C, we're going to go C, and then with finger number two, E, and finger number four, the A up top, and we're going to end it with a B, one note over with the pinky, or finger number five. So again. Okay, so just from the left hand part, Let's do the whole thing from the beginning. Okay, now you probably thought that last note sounded a little funny, maybe even wrong. And that's because as we hit that last B with the pinky, we're supposed to simultaneously play an E on the left hand with the pinky of the left hand. Okay, so just to see how that moves, the left hand, the pinky is going to move down to this E. Okay, so let's do that now. Again. And from the beginning, one more time. Okay, now let's learn the next part in the left hand. So after this E with the pinky, you're going to play an E an octave higher with your thumb. And now you're going to cross over with finger number two and play a G sharp. Okay, the G sharp is just the middle black note in the sequence of three black notes. So again, E, E, and then with finger number two, cross over and play G sharp. From this part, One more time from that part. Now from the beginning. Okay, and to finish this up now, with your right hand, we're going to arpeggiate an E major chord. What that means is we're just going to play an E major chord one note at a time. So that's E with the thumb or finger number one to G sharp 
with finger number two to a B with finger number four to a C with finger number five. So we have. From the left hand. One more time. From the top. Okay, again, that C probably sounds a little weird because we're supposed to be changing that left hand note. What's nice is the left hand at this part is exactly the same as the first left hand part you learned. It's A, E, A again. So A, E, A. Let's do this from the beginning. Okay, now we're going to make the sound even nicer by adding the sustain pedal in. The sustain pedal is the rightmost pedal on the bottom of the piano. You're going to hit it with your right foot. And just to teach you when to play it, I'm going to say the word pedal every time you're supposed to press it down. Pedal. 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 So what you want to do is every time I say pedal, right before that, you want to quickly release it and press it down again. So let's do it one more time. Pedal. 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 Okay, let me finish by playing this whole part one more time. Next week, we will finish the second half of this part of the song.